With the Euro 2020 coming to a dramatic end, I thought it would be a good time to remind the supporters of every country that isn't Italy that there's always another chance. And you'll only have to wait three years rather than four. In 2024, the tournament will take place in Germany, in 10 world-class venues. So with that being said, well, here they are. Olympia Stadion. We start off with a stadium that's unlike any other that you'll see in this video. Not just because there's a track around the field, but the grandiose classical design is one of a kind in many ways, especially the wraparound stone exterior. But the stadium has been modernized since the 1930s. I don't think you needed me to tell you that, but it looks fantastic nowadays. On top of that, it has its fair share of uniqueness, with the open section of the stadium at the western end, as well as this multi-tiered section of seating on the south side of the ground. I really like this one, despite the track. Allianz Arena It was arguably the most technologically advanced stadium in the world when it first opened, and it's still impressive today. Even in 2021, it's considered by many to be the best stadium in the world. And it has a good argument, but it faces stiff competition in Germany alone. Whether it is or not, it's quite a spectacular sight, inside and out. Although on the outside, it looks much better when it's lit up at night. I'm not a big fan of the plain white look by day, but to each their own. On the inside, you won't be mistaken for which club plays here. That's right. Bayern München, or Bayern Munich as they're better known outside of Germany, because clearly we can't say München properly. The vibrant branding on the seats looks fantastic, especially when you consider how monochromatic it was beforehand. Signal Iduna Park. Firstly, I love the exterior, particularly from the bird's eye view. That silver roof contrasted by those bright yellow support pylons looks fantastic. And not too many teams have their logo on the roof. The stadium is known for its incredible atmosphere, especially for club football where they can cram 15,000 extra spectators in, due to there being standing room available, which allows for the famous yellow wall. As with many German stadiums, the capacity is reduced for internationals. In this instance, the terracing is converted into seating, so it's not quite the same as when Borussia Dortmund are playing. But nonetheless, it remains a magnificent theatre of football. Felton's Arena It's not one of my favourite exteriors going round, but I do like the plentiful use of glass lower down. And the stadium has some very unique features. You may have noticed the retractable roof up top, but it also has a field that can roll in and out of the stadium. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of only two stadiums in Europe with a retractable roof and a retractable field. The other being the... Well, I can't pronounce it, but it's in the Netherlands. Don't watch my NFL video where I claim that this stadium is the only stadium in the world with these two features. It's the only stadium in the world with a retractable roof as well. Idiot. I had clearly eaten one too many rum balls before the recording. Anyway, I do like that the roof of this stadium is somewhat translucent, and lets in a decent amount of natural light. It looks quite nice on the inside. Mercedes-Benz Arena It was once named after a certain historical leader that shan't be named. But I think you know who I mean. Mustache, but those days are gone, and the stadium is completely different to what it was back then. The stadium's outward appearance is defined by the unique fabric roof canopy that's supported by this huge steel structure that could be mistaken for a roller coaster. What would be a very boring roller coaster, might I add. The interior is made up of two tiers of seating, but the top tier is about one quarter of the size of the lower tier which gives it a somewhat unique look, but it looks great. Volkspark-Stadion Unbelievably, this one is currently in the second tier of German football. Madness! Although there has been a stadium on this site since the 50s, the stadium you see today is completely different from that one. It's even orientated in the opposite direction. The design is pretty much perfectly symmetrical on the outside, 
and the same almost goes for the inside as well. There is a slightly different design on one side to accommodate luxury suites and whatnot. It's not the prettiest of stadiums, but it certainly gets the job done. And fortresses aren't supposed to be pretty, so why should the fortress of Hamburger be any different? Why is the name of that football team making me hungry? Merkisch Spiel Arena From the outside it looks like a cross between a pizza box and... Uh, well, a football stadium. It too has a retractable roof as you may have noticed. Which is convenient for when the rain comes, but if you're planning on visiting Germany in 2024, what's even more convenient is the public transport. That's the train station right there. Any closer than that and you'll have a Houston Astros situation where the train is inside the stadium. Speaking of the inside, it's very vibrant. The mosaic seating reminds me of M&M's or Skittles. Man, too many food references in this video. Unfortunately, unlike Valton's arena, the roof is not translucent. So if it is shut in the daytime, you won't be able to tell that it's daytime. Except for the windows. Rhine Energy Stadion Just like the Hamburger Fortress, it's a fairly new stadium that was built on the site of a much older and completely different stadium. I've said it before, but I love the way the roof is held up. You have the towers in each corner with the suspension bridge style cables that run between them. Paint it red and you have the Golden Gate Bridge, which is ironic come to think of it. The facade is also quite unique. It's a grid pattern of sorts. It looks alright. On the inside, it's a fairly elegant classic football stadium design, with four distinct sides of the ground rather than a bowl. Although the corners are filled in on the lower tier. It looks fantastic. Deutsche Bank Park Yet another stadium with a retractable roof, but this one is completely different. It's made up of a fabric membrane that slides along cables and folds itself into the four-sided video screen that hovers above the field. I love that design. The roof also lets in plenty of light, and even when it's closed, it allows for a good amount of airflow. This design was replicated in the form of Romania's National Stadium that hosted matches at this year's tournament. But Deutsche Bank Park is a bit smaller and a lot more toned down on the inside, but a lot of people would prefer that. Those navy blue seats do look quite nice. Red Bull Arena Just like the last one, it too has a clone in another part of Europe. This time it's in Portugal. But one thing that I doubt any other stadium in the world can lay claim to is that it was literally built on top of an old stadium. They didn't even level the earth or anything. You can see the remaining structure of the old stadium, minus the concrete. That's very cool. That was the old Zentralstadion, built back when East Germany was a thing. It's the only one of these stadiums that's located in what was formerly East Germany. The interior is very nice. I always appreciate having a considerable gap between the top of the seating and the roof canopy. It makes it feel like you're sitting outdoors rather than in a building. So those were the stadiums for the Euro 2024. Who's gonna take the title? Is football coming home? Is football staying in Rome? Or is football coming to Cologne? Who knows? If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, have a good one.